children, I hope you all are fine and safe at home. You must be enjoying this new concept of online teaching. Under that, we st I welcome you all to your first class of physics where we will start chapter number 11, Force and Pressure. Today, we will learn about force, its definition, its interaction and the various effects it produces on the objects. In the next class, we will learn about the various types of forces. Right. So now, let us begin. Uh, when you want to move an object, for example, you want to shift a chair or you want to drag a table towards you. What do you do? You push it or you pull it. When you are doing this, what are you actually doing? You are applying certain kind of force. So what is force? Force is a push or a pull which can cause an object to move or show movement in that object. It can always be uh, in terms of pushing and pulling. For example, when you are lifting up an object, that will be defined as pulling. When you are kicking something or pushing something away, that is a push. So force, all the forces that you are applying will always be a push or a pull. There may be very various other examples which will make it more clear. See, look at the screen. You have, you see many examples given there, right? Some are the examples of a push, the other is a pull, but all of them are the forces. So force is a push or a pull which can cause the movement in an object. Like driving a nail through a hammer inside the wall. What is that? It is a push. Kicking a ball is again a push. Then lifting up a ball is a pull. So force cannot be seen, but whatever effect it produces on the object that we can easily observe. Now let us summarize. What is force? Force is a push or a pull or both which cannot be seen but the effect that it produces can be seen on the objects. Now force cannot always be either a push or a pull. It can also be a combination. For example, you lift a ball and then throw it. So lifting up a ball was pulling and then throwing the ball was pushing. what is required for the force to act? For example, I am standing away from the table and I want it to move. Will it move? No, it will not because I am only thinking. I am not uh, doing anything. I am not pushing it using my hands. I am not using my legs. I am not doing anything actually. I am only standing there. Just like this picture. See the man standing behind a car. Unless until he pushes the car, the car will not move. The force will not be applied. So, for the force to act, there should be some kind of interaction between the two objects. Getting it? So, what is that interaction? The relation, the connectivity between the two objects should be there. If you just stand there, there is no interaction between the two objects. The force cannot be applied. Started moving. What happened to the car? The car started moving because of the force applied. So this is called the effect of force on the object. When the force is applied on the object, there are various effects which are produced. Remember this thing that the effects are produced on the object on which the force is applied. Now let us see various other effects as well. What is the first effect of force? That it can make a stationary object to start moving. For example, there is a ball and you now kick it. The ball was at rest. Now you kicked it, it started rolling. This is what happened. It changed the state of rest to the state of motion. The body was stationary. Now it started moving. This is the first effect of force. Now supposing the body is already moving. What happened? When you started applying the force in the same direction, the body started moving faster. It gained speed. So the speed increased. This is the second effect of force that if the object is already moving, when you apply the force from the same direction, the speed increases and the object starts moving faster. Third effect of force, force can make a moving object slow down or stop. Right? If there is a moving object coming towards you and you apply force from an opposite direction, what will happen? The object will either decrease the speed or it will simply come to a stop. 
like somebody is coming on a bicycle towards you you put a hand on the bicycle the bicycle if does not stop it stop it starts moving very slowly the speed is decreased right and if you apply more force it will simply come to a stop so if you apply force from an opposite direction on a moving object the speed will decrease or the object will simply come to a stop this is the third effect of force what is the fourth effect now force can change the direction of a moving object also for example if a ball is coming towards you in a playground and you want to give a pass to your friend what do you do yes you angle your foot and you pass the ball towards your friend what happened the direction of the moving ball changed it was coming towards you now it went towards your friend so this is what you've done you've applied force on the moving object to change its direction the same goes for the object at rest also you can drag a uh, you can pick up a stationary object and change its direction it was kept in the corner of the room you can lift it and change the direction now it is in the center of the room like for example a table or a chair so this is the fourth effect of force what is the fifth and the last effect of force for example you take a sheet of paper and you crumple it the sheet was rectangular in shape now you crumple it into a, a slight say kind of a ball or an oval shape what have you done you have caused the object to change its shape this is the fifth effect of force that force can change the shape or size of an object see in the examples given you can stretch a spring you can squeeze a lemon you can squeeze a tube all these are the examples of change in the shape of an object by applying force this is the summary of the effects of forces what are the effects of force first let us quickly recap first force can cause a stationary object to move it can slow down or stop a moving object it can it can increase the dec or decrease the speed of a moving object it can change the direction of a moving or a stationary object it can cause a change in the shape or size of an object all these are the five effects of force i hope you understood the topic very well try to answer the uh, questions that are following this is your assignment you have to do the questions in your fair physics copies you have to make a single lined 140 page notebook for physics and you give the chapter number and name properly and attempt all these questions define force what is the condition required for the force to act between two objects state the five effects of force and give examples of each of them classify the following examples as a push or a pull and then what these examples are given you have to classify them as which effect is it which effect of force is used in this right i hope you enjoyed today's lecture hope to meet you next time stay safe stay healthy